Hi guys, it's me here and welcome to another video. So today we're going to be talking about behind the scenes writing a Minecraft roleplay. Now you might be wondering, is um, Izumi, why are you in Minecraft for this video and you were in uh, on Facecam for the last video? It's because honestly today I, 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 okay, long story a little bit, uh, long story a little bit. Um, I filmed this video already, but I just was not a fan of how it turned out and wow, breaking the immersion with you seeing outside of what has been built. This is like the edge of like the sets for season one and then like sets for season two are over there. And so like, we're still in progress of filling in the environment around the sets. Um, but uh, I already filmed this whole video with face cam and I just didn't like how it turned out. It just, the audio wasn't good and it just didn't feel, didn't feel, didn't feel, didn't, didn't fit the vibe. So I thought I would just film it in Minecraft really quick just kind of get to the basic points that I wanted to get to. I also felt like I rambled a lot in that video and I know you guys don't mind me rambling but uh, it just felt it just felt out of place. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into behind the scenes of writing a Minecraft roleplay. First thing we'll be covering is how did I outline the story? Um, so this was pretty basic. I first thought of the base storyline that I liked, basically a matter of, you know, a island of magic and um, a school where they're taught magic and that kind of vibe, um, dark academia, that whole, that whole, it kind of all came at once to me. It was oh, what if there was a Dark Academia kind of witch-esque series? Oh, wait, what if it was about a girl named Junie Nightwood? And oh, what if it's also kind of a murder mystery? What if it's also kind of a thriller? And it kind of went around from there, enemies to lovers, you know? Like, it all kind of added up as I was creating it. Um, so the base storyline, I kind of just established that. And then I found the show's like setting and aesthetic that was, you know, Dark Academia and a, you know, the the island, Blackthorn. Um, from there, I wrote like crazy. I ended up writing the whole season um, before sharing it with anyone besides obviously like my very close friends and stuff like that because I really wanted to get it out there as soon as possible and I wanted you guys to see the final product. So the next question is, what was my favorite part about writing CA? So my favorite part of writing CA was definitely creating the character backstories. It always makes the characters feel so much more like real people. Um, knowing their motives and their drive behind what they're doing really just brings them to life and gives them a whole new purpose in the story. What was the most difficult part of writing CA and how did you work around it? Definitely my own impatience and like the feeling that I want to have it finished and be able to show people, but also wanting to not rush it uh, and wanting to share the story, but also having to wait to show it. And oh my God, definitely impatience. That is the hardest part for me, especially with Charmed Academics since it's been a very long time in the making. I first had the idea like over a year ago at this point. So to be still waiting, to share it with you guys is crazy to me. I'm normally not this, I'm, I'm normally not still invested in projects that I've been working on for over a year, but that's the reason why I'm waiting to post it because I want to make sure, wow, my phone just went off. Love that for me. <laughs> um, I want to make sure that you guys be, are able to get all of the season. I don't want you guys not to be able to get, you know, the full season. I don't want me to get burnt out and you guys to suffer because of it. That's definitely what happened with AHU and I don't want that happening again. And by the way, AHU is coming back eventually. It's just a matter of I have to find my new passion for it again. So anyways, back to talking about CA. <laughs> Next question is, what was your inspiration for Charmed Academics? I had an idea for like the dark academia, gothic, grim island full of magic and created the characters really quickly after that and the storyline kind of wrote itself based on the character backstories. So that's why I say character backstories really make a story come to life because it basically wrote the whole story for me and I really like how the story turned out. My biggest inspirations. Oh, oh. So I also want to talk about like my biggest inspirations that are in like media for the show. Um, since 
the what is your inspiration for term academics could be really taken two ways. It could be taken, you know, from a stylistic standpoint and also from a like stuff that already exists standpoint. And for stuff that already exists, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, uh, uh, Court of Mist and Fury, Twilight, the like 90s TV show Charmed. But the most real part of all of it is like, I didn't really emerge myself in any of those while writing. So it kind of made the story just come without really any outside influence. And if I had to say stories that were similar, I, I would say those, but like, I'm really proud of how um, this story really feels like something that I created. And obviously there is definitely media similar to it. And I'm not saying that I, you know, created something revolutionary or something like that but i do think I, I i'm really proud of what i created and i'm really excited to share it with you guys so that is all the questions i had written down but if you have any more questions about behind the scenes of writing that a minecraft role player specifically charmed academics let me know and i will get back to you in the comments down below i'll be replying to every comment for the first 24 hours so please get your comments in as quickly as possible um but if you comment after that i will most likely still reply because i like replying to comments a lot but i will be like avidly checking the comments for the first 24 hours after this is posted. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.